In an era where network breaches make headlines daily and AI transformation sweeps across industries, HPE Aruba Networking is positioning itself at the intersection of these critical technology trends. David Hughes, HPE Aruba Networking's SVP and Chief Product Officer, joins us to unpack what that means for today's enterprises and service providers. David, thank you for being with us today. Hey, Clarence, great to be here. So we're here at the HPE booth, and the one thing that I'm seeing pretty much everywhere is signs that say, security first, AI powered networking. Tell us what that means. So security first, AI powered networking is all about our strategy. It's what kind of networking company we are. The security first piece is all about making sure that security is built into the network rather than bolted on. If you rewind two or three decades to when the internet was invented, anyone connected anywhere could access the computer of anybody else anywhere on that internet, which sounds kind of crazy today. But obviously, to commercialize the internet, they developed the firewall. And the firewall was originally designed to keep the bad guys out of your corporate network. But as time went by, people realized that there's insider threats. So things can be like bad people inside, things can get hacked. And so you need to segment that network into smaller pieces. And that meant a proliferation of firewalls inside the enterprise. And, you know, today we've got to a point where we're really at peak firewall. There's so many firewalls deployed. Each of them are configured with hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of rules. So cumulatively for an enterprise, there's millions of lines of policy that have to be just right in order to secure their networks. What security first networking is all about is changing that equation and baking the security into the network so the network defends itself. And you define policy once, maybe just a few hundred rules for an entire enterprise, and then it's enforced in every element, our access points, our switches, our gateways, and in the cloud. So that's the security first piece. The AI powered piece is all about turning the IT admin into a super admin. You know, any IT team today has a workload that continues to go up. All those cybersecurity threats, all those great ideas the boss has mean their workload goes up and up. But the team is the same size or maybe even shrinking. And so what they want us to do is leverage AI to make their jobs easier. And how do we do that? Well, every day we are collecting 24 by 7 telemetry from all our switches and APs and gateways that are out there. More than um, 4, 4 million going on 5 million devices, so representing 2 billion endpoints. So we collect all that information, we bring it into our cloud, we anonymize it, and then we use AI models to develop insights that help each of our customers, that gives them tailored advice about what to do. And if they want to, we can automate the implementation of those rules. And, uh, that really makes the IT admin's job easier. It takes away the risk of mistakes and lets that IT admin focus on the big picture. That's what security-first AI-powered networking is all about. So why is a security-first approach to networking so important? Well, I think it's important for a couple of reasons. First, I think everyone recognizes that the cybersecurity environment gets tougher every day. There's new threats emerging all the time. The other thing is that many of the threats don't just originate with people or users, but with things. So there are approaches for securing kind of communications between users and the apps in the cloud that work quite well from a cloud point of view. But in the modern enterprise, there are a lot of IoT devices like point of sale terminals, you know, temperature control systems, on the factory floor, a lot of automation. That all needs to be secured too. And to secure those things, you really need to implement the policy and identification of those devices in the network itself. And so those things are driving the need to bring security and the networking together. And the bigger networking footprint that you have, the better security you're able to deliver. So why is it important to have AI-powered networking? AI-powered networking is really important in terms of making IT more efficient. Because the job's getting more complicated every day, you kind of need a, a balancing factor or force multiplier that turns things um, back in favor of IT. Um, it really uh, helps the business move forward with its initiatives faster instead of getting kind of held up or slowed down by the complexities of IT. 
What are some of the security first AI powered networking innovations you're showcasing here at MWC? Well, there's a lot to show right behind me on this screen. Um, we're talking about our SASE solution. So where we're bringing together cloud, um, cloud enforced SSE policy with our SD-WAN technology to create a unified SASE solution. That would be one example. We're also demonstrating some of those AI insights that we get with Aruba Central to help people deploy and optimize their Wi-Fi networks. That's just a couple of examples. Well, David, thank you so much for your insights today. All right, thanks so much, Clarence.